welcome to this episode of the Gunman. In this video, we'll be taking you through the clear coat on this XKR Jaguar painted in indigo blue is the color name of the base color. The color code is JJX and this one's just the clear coat. I've decided um, just to put the clear coat in for this, uh, this part of this video just to um, give you a look at this new gun that I've been given by the head of the Vilvus Australia pretty nice of him to give me a gun to make a few videos so I was uh, real happy with how this job came up actually um, came up real good um, so this is the exact same gun as what they call in America the Tecna Pro Light um, it's exactly the same gun it's just got a different name here in Australia so um, I'm using the TE20 air cap I was given the gun with the TE 10 and the TE20 air cap, so uh, I was told this one is more for the clear coat for the TE20, so I've decided to, for, at this point to use this gun for a clear gun, so I'll probably be more using the TE20, but I'll give the TE10 a shot and see what I think of that, so um, I'm real happy with how this uh, came up, as I said, it laid down real nice, it looks like a sheet of glass. Um, yeah, the, the settings I ended up using was I, I put it up just a touch above 2 bar. Um, I've found that if you if you go just a little bit above 2 bar, sometimes you'll get a bit of a nicer finish and not, not quite as much orange peel. So, um, yeah, uh, the settings I have on this one, I just uh, maxed out the fan, just had it wide open and um, had the fluid set to approximately... Uh, three turns out you could go two and a half on the sides if you if you find that you're getting a few runs you can wind it in a bit uh, you could alternately just go a little bit quicker with the gun but um yeah i found three is a pretty good setting for this and um yeah they as they're called the light so i usually use the gti pro or the original one before this came out and um being that I sprayed the roof on this, sometimes you do actually start to get a bit of a dead arm as you're starting to paint, you, you get halfway through the roof or something like that. So the, I actually found on this job that that extra couple of hundred grams lighter, which it is, it's 200 grams lighter, I did a, a weigh test on the scales one day, and um, it actually does make a difference because as the lactic acid starts building up in your arms, you, you might start... Uh, getting a bit of a uh, more uneven spray pattern, so th having that that little bit less weight actually does, um, yeah, help you in the long run. So yeah, and initially when I before I'd even used one, I I must admit I thought, ah, oh, who really who really cares? The pros aren't that heavy, you know. You don't you don't really need something that's that lighter. But it, it actually soon became uh, clear to me that. For a job like this, when you're doing and when you're doing a respray, you know that extra couple of hundred grams does actually make a bit of a difference. So, um, yeah, the, these guns uh, have actually out started out selling the GDI Pros at the moment. I've been told so they're, they're selling more than GDI Pros every month. So they're they're a great gun. I just decided to double up the clear on this bit here because I think um, the dust might have flown out of where those uh, windscreen moulds we pulled out, a little, I think must have missed a tiny uh, well, a big lump of something flew out and sometimes when you get a, lot, a few bits of dust or stuff land in your, your paintwork, if you um, load the paint up then you can actually fill, the, fill them in a little bit but obviously be careful you don't go too, too heavy because you can start getting um, uh, solvent boil or you can get either alternately runs as well. So. But yeah, so you'll notice that um, on the, the second coat I'll be slowing down a bit. Um, the, the first coat took about four minutes and the second coat took a bit over five minutes. So it gives you an idea of do, you do slow down a touch so on the second coat. But um, I do have the rest of the footage on this job actually. I'll be uploading that uh, at a later date. But this video was more just focused on uh, how this... Uh, the pro light performs for clear coat with the TE20 cap on it. Pretty um, pretty good uh, clear usage as well. Um, 
I really did hammer hammer the paint on like pretty heavy on this job. So um, I ended up using a full pot, not quite a full pot on the first coat, and just over a full pot on pot on this second second coat. So the pot's about 500 mils. So I've used about 1.1 liters of paint on this job, which is two quarter panels, a fender, and the turret, obviously. So big part of that is as I say how I painted it because I'm really laying it on quite nice so uh, at the end of this vid I've got a couple of other review and demos I've got the uh, GTI Pro just the not the light version uh, review and uh, that for clear coat and also the Sardajet RP do a couple of my popular videos so check them out if you haven't already seen them um, I don't have this car as it's finished uh, because the car's not finished yet. It's actually still sitting in the spray booth as I speak at the moment. So I only just painted this yesterday, uh, being Friday, today's Saturday. And uh, yeah, yeah, I still give you a good look at the paint job when it's finished. And you can really see that it's, um, it's laid down really nicely like a sheet of glass. So. Yeah, just run over those settings again in case you forget. Um, yep, two bar, touch above if you want. Three winds out so you'll wind the fluid right in. Come three winds out and fan right open. It's um, yeah, it's a pretty standard setting which I use on most spray guns. Uh, you can adjust that to obviously the climate and the heat, but yeah, sometimes in the middle of summer. Uh, when it's real hot, I'll wind the fluid out a bit because you, the paint starts drying a lot quicker, so you really need to just get a lot on uh, a lot quicker. But my climate started cooling down a bit, so I've started winding them in a bit, winding the fluid in a touch. It's quite clean, this job. It was really quite clean. Uh, not much dust in it at all, so when I do upload the rest of the, the footage for this, XKR, uh, you can check it out and I'll take you through every single step to, to get a nice clean job without too much dust in it. As I said, there was a couple of bits in that uh, boot spoiler which must have flown out from that rear windscreen. But apart from that, it was quite good. So I can, I can see I'm going to be using a lot more of this gun. And you actually can uh, interchange the air caps from the GTI Pro to the GTI Pro Lite. So if you've got one GTI Pro with a couple of air caps and you're umming and or uh, whether or not I should get a Pro Lite because then you're going to have to buy more air caps, you can actually uh, interchange those air caps because I tried putting one of my GTI Pro air caps on the Pro Lite and it fits perfectly fine and it sprays fine. So. That's another good feature that they've done. I was, I was actually a little bit surprised. I thought they wouldn't fit, but they do fit, and it's good that they do, I think. Another little thing I decided to do was to um, heat the clear up. So when I was painting the base coat on, I brought the clear in into the booth, had the booth heating up at about 30, approximately 30 degrees, and um, that, that helped. Uh, the clear flow out a bit because it's starting to um, starting to warm up already before it hits the panel. Any questions, comments? You're welcome to put them down in the box. I do my best to pretty much answer all the questions that you have on any of the jobs you might be having. If you're having troubles or do my best to um, yeah, answer any questions you've got. So yeah, there's a couple couple of bits of dust. As I said in uh, in that boot spot, they must have came out of that um, that windscreen mold, as I said. But the rest of it was really extremely clean. There might have been one or two tiny little bits that we can clean about later and polish up. And that's like a sheet of glass. So you can see that this uh, Pro Light with the TE 
20 air cap on it, really performs quite well. So I was using the Standox Crystal Clear Pro with the HS hardener in it. This job. So yeah, came out quite well. Check out these other couple of links if you haven't already seen them. And thanks again for watching. This has been another Gunman production. Goodbye.